Okay, so today we're making chicken pokori and for this we need uh, we're going to use two chicken breasts um, and all I've done is I've diced them into small cubes just like this um, and then we also need um, half a teaspoon of salt We also need half a teaspoon of red chilli powder and we need quarter teaspoon of haldi powder um, half a teaspoon of coriander powder um, a teaspoon of um, kasuri methi and half a teaspoon of garam masala um, I've got two tablespoons of rice um, obviously um, you put rice flour in just to give that crispiness to the pakore I don't have any rice flour so what I'm going to do is I've got two tablespoons of rice I'm going to put this in the blender and make it into a powder um, so it's rice flour basically um, then we need two green chilies um, need two tablespoons of coriander and we're also going to use about one tablespoon of lemon um, one a teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste and then we also need a quarter a teaspoon of um, baking powder um, and then I've got a cup of good um, uh, ground flour just about a cup and then we're just going to mix all the ingredients together make like a thick butter um, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next Okay, so as you can see, I've uh, grinded the rice up. That was two tablespoons of rice. Just gonna pour it into here. Yeah, and that's gonna be our rice flour. And this is what's gonna give the crispiness um, to the pakore. So if you don't have any rice flour, just get two tablespoons of normal rice, basmati rice, any rice of your choice, to be honest. Um, grind it in a blender and it'll go into like a powder form, um, as you can see. And that's your rice flour. So you don't have to specially go out and buy it okay so we're ready to put everything together so i've got the two tablespoons of coriander leaves and um, just put them in and the two green chilies that we just chopped up just add them in as well and then we're just going to add the half a teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of red chili powder half a teaspoon of coriander powder quarter teaspoon of haldi powder turmeric powder that is and a quarter teaspoon of garam masala and we're also going to add the kasuri methi that's um, a teaspoon of kasuri methi and we're going to add the rice flour that we grinded that I showed you earlier this is going to give the Pakora is the crispiness. Teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste. And we're also going to add the quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Not too much. Just sprinkle that in. We're also going to squeeze in a teaspoon of lemon. And then we're just going to mix all this in together just like this if you are wanting to marinate this I'd probably suggest to marinate it at this stage before you put the ground flour in so you can marinate it about an hour is enough um, and then when you're ready to fry it then put the ground flour in mix it up um, and then fry it thoroughly mix all that in okay so now we're gonna add the cup of uh, ground flour in I'm not gonna add it all in at once so I've got a cup of um, ground flour I'm just gonna get some water I'm just gonna add a little bit of water in and then we're just gonna 
uh, continue to stir this and we're just going to make a very thick batter so I just continue to stir this okay so as you can see it's a nice thick consistency and all the masala is actually stuck um, to the uh, chicken pieces there so it shouldn't be runny at all it should be very thick because when you put it in the oil you don't want it to flare out everywhere so you want it quite thick um, very pasty so um, I ended up putting half a cup um, of ground flour in so in total um, I've got two chicken breasts um, just add water um, to adjust the consistency and that's all you have to do and all we're gonna do is I'm just gonna leave that to the side for at least 10 minutes and then we're gonna fry these okay so we're ready to fry uh, the chicken kebabs so I've just heated the oil I'm just waiting for it to heat up um, and then we'll put the uh, chicken pagoda and start frying them okay so I just put one in just to test and as you can see it's bubbling away so we're okay to put the rest in now slowly slowly add them in and then just continue to do this and just put in how much you can fit in you don't have to overcrowd it Okay, so after one to two minutes, as you can see it's frying away, um, just move them around, just like this, and then just continue to fry. It should take about six to seven minutes um, to fry these chicken. Okay, so as you can see it's gone like a very nice golden... Uh, yellowish colour but we actually want to make them a bit more browner so we're just going to continue to cook this it should roughly take about six to seven minutes um, for you to fully fry these depending on the size that you actually put them um, I've just put them into like little bite size just like that okay so the chicken pagoda are now ready um, so all we're going to do is we're going to take them out now as you can see And we're just going to allow it to drain. I'll just get like a paper towel just to um, absorb the oil there. Okay, so we're just going to put the next batch in just make sure when you do put the next batch in that you do cool the oil down slightly because obviously it's going to be very hot so I'll just continue to put the next batch in and then do the same with this one as well Okay, so we're ready now to take the second um, batch out. So just do the same with this as well and just take them out. Okay, so the chicken pakori are now ready. As you can see, they're nice and crispy. So I'm just going to test um, a pakora for you. So we're just going to break it. As you can see, it's really crispy on the outside. And it's cooked on the inside, as you can see. 
So it's nice and juicy inside and crispy on the outside. And that's how you want it.